The result of an engineering analysis is often one or more ordinary differential equations, or ODEs, that are sufficiently complicated as to require numerical rather than analytical solution. Partial differential equations can also be solved by approximating them as a set of ordinary differential equations. EASE has a powerful built-in numerical integration algorithm that can be used to solve one or more ordinary differential equations. In this video, we're going to discuss the use of EASE to solve a single ODE. Future videos will discuss how we can use EASE to solve a set of coupled ODEs and even PDEs. The numerical solution of any ODE begins with the governing differential equation. For this video, let's solve the first order differential equation that's shown here, with the initial condition that y at t equals 0 is equal to 1. The governing differential equation provides the rate of change of a variable given its own value and the value of time. In this case, the rate of change of the variable y can be computed given its value and the value of time t according to this equation. The ODE written in this form is sometimes referred to as the state equation in the context of a dynamic system. State equations characterize the transient behavior of many engineering problems in dynamics, kinematics, fluids, electrical circuits, heat transfer, and thermodynamics. The solution to a transient problem, then, is a matter of just integrating the governing differential equation forward through time. The numerical solution to ODEs divides time into small steps and then uses some method for integrating the state equation through each time step. The ease integral command automatically implements a sophisticated adaptive step size semi-implicit integration technique in order to numerically solve ODEs. It is important to remember that the integral command expects that there is a system of equations in the equations window that will when provided with the value of the dependent variable and the integration variable, provide the time rate of change of the dependent variable. These will then automatically manipulate this system of equations in order to accomplish the numerical integration and move through time, one time step at a time. With this in mind, it is important to begin the process of using EASE's ODE solver by first specifying some arbitrary value for the dependent variable in time, and verifying that the equations that you have programmed in the equations window are in fact capable of computing the derivative of the dependent variable. For this problem, the first step will be to set some arbitrary value of the dependent variable y and time t. Next, enter the equations that are necessary to provide the time rate of change for y. In this quick case, it's only this one equation. Solving at this point leads to dy dt equals zero. Note that it will likely be somewhat more complicated to compute the derivative of the state variable in a real engineering problem. So, for example, in a real problem, you'll probably have to reevaluate properties, compute quantities like heat transfer coefficients, and so on, and this will require a set of equations rather than a single state equation. Once you're sure that the state equation is programmed correctly, that is, given y and t, you can compute dy dt, it's time to use the ODE solver and ease to integrate the state equation through time. The solution is given by the integral shown here, where y initial is the initial condition, and t sim is the time period that you want to simulate. The integral is approximated numerically using the ODE solver and ease, which is accessed using the integral command. The integral command requires four arguments. The variable y initial is the initial value, the variable dy dt is the integrand that must be integrated, t is the integration variable, and lower limit and upper limit are the limits. In order to solve our problem then, we need to call the integral function as shown here, where lower limit is 0 and upper limit is t sim or the simulation time. In order to accomplish the numerical integration, ease will adjust the value of the variable t from 0 to t sim in small incremental time steps. In order to move through each time step, ease will iteratively solve all of the equations in the equations window in order to compute dy dt and y at the end of each time step. When the solution converges, the value of the variable t is incremented and the process is repeated over and over again until the variable t becomes equal to the variable t sim. Comment out the values of y and t that were used to check the state equations and instead solve the problem using the integral command. The result is contained in the solution window which shows the values of all the variables at the end of the integration process, i.e. the result of the integration which is y at t equals t sim. 
Often it is interesting to know the trajectory of the solution during the time period that is being simulated. This information can be provided by including the dollar integral table directive in the file. The format of the dollar integral table directive is shown here, where var name is the integration variable, and x comma y comma z represent a list of dependent variables whose values you would like to be recorded during the integration process. Adding the ease code shown here will generate an integral table containing the results of the numerical simulation. Solving the ease code now will result in the generation of this integral table that is filled with intermediate values resulting from the integration process. The first column is in the integral table will contain values of the integration variable and the remaining columns will contain the values of all of the other variables in the list. The values in the integral table can be plotted, printed, saved, and copied in exactly the same manner as for other tables. Here we're just going to make a plot of the numerical integration. Notice that the time steps used by Ease and shown in this plot are not all the same. By default, Ease will use an adaptive step size algorithm that maintains accuracy while maximizing computational speed. The parameters used to control the adaptive step size algorithm can be accessed and adjusted by selecting preferences from the options window and then selecting the integration tab. The user can specify how often the step interval will be examined and adjusted, as well as the absolute minimum and maximum number of integration steps that will be allowed. The relative error criteria used to either reduce or increase the step size can also be specified. Here the integration is set up so that the duration of each step will be reduced if the relative error exceeds 1 times 10 to the minus third, and the duration will be increased if the relative error becomes less than 1 times 10 to the minus five. Let's adjust this here so that the relative error is always kept between 1 times 10 to the minus 2 and 1 times 10 to the minus 3 in order to increase computational speed at the expense of reduced accuracy. Notice when we make a plot of these results, fewer steps are used and also that the step size is changing more often. These settings can also be provided with the dollar integral auto step directive. It's actually advisable to use the dollar integral auto step directive to set the integration parameters so that your code produces consistent results across various computers and is as transparent as possible. For example, the code shown here specifies and overrides each of the integration parameters that would otherwise be set in the integration tab of the preferences window. The integral table by default includes every time step that is used to carry out the integration. Often there will be many more steps required for accuracy than you would actually want to record. For example, let's control the time step here so that the relative error is always between 1 times 10 to the minus 6 and 1 times 10 to the minus 5. The result is more than 3,000 time steps being used. And this is far more information than I want to include in my integral table. I can adjust the dollar integral table directive so that the results are only recorded in specified intervals by adding a colon step after the integration variable as shown here. The value of step corresponds to the time between entries in the integral table. So this modification to our ease code will cause data to be recorded in the integral table every 0.1 seconds as you can see here. The step size that is used to report integration results is totally independent of the duration of the time step that is actually used in the numerical integration. Finally, I can actually specify the time step used in the integration process by adding a fifth argument to the integral command that specifies the time step. So let's return the dollar integral table directive to its original form so that all of the steps are recorded, as shown here. Now let's specify that the time steps used in the integration process are 0.1 seconds. This is done by adding the fifth argument to the integral command as shown here. The result now is contained in the integral table and you can see that 0.1 time steps are used throughout the process and the adaptive time step settings are, are actually ignored. This video showed how to use the integral command in ease to, to solve a single ODE. The subsequent videos will show how you can use the ODE solver to solve systems of ODEs and also even partial differential equations.